Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Fundas Global. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create Google Display Ads using keyword targeting. Yes, in the previous videos, we have shown you how to change the bidding option into CPC and CPM. And now I'll be showing you how to use keyword targeting in our display, Google Display Ad campaign, right? So let's get into the video without any further ado. So guys, as you can see right now, I'm in my Google ads account. And now in order to create a campaign, basically a new campaign, we have to click on this create button or either you can click on this new campaign button, right? Once you click on this, you'll be able to see two options. Click on new campaign. Now here you have to select your objective. So right now I'm going to choose create a campaign without a goal guidance because that's what an, an expert do. We don't need any guidance because when you select these other pre-made objectives, then you don't get 100% control over your campaign. So in order to get 100% uh, control over your campaign, you have to choose this create a campaign without a goal guidance. Then obviously we are creating a display campaign. So campaign type would be, will be display, right? Here we have created few conversions. If you don't know how to create conversions, refer to our previous videos where you can uh, learn how to create conversions, right? Otherwise, you can leave this option and directly go to here. Now here you have to enter your website and our website is marketingfundas.com. So I'm gonna just copy the URL. I've just pressed control C and here pasting by pressing control V. Now here we have to add name, right? For this campaign. So this is display 11 and here, I'm going to write DM because this is for digital marketing course. This campaign is for digital marketing course, right? So DM keyword because this is keyword targeting, right? Now hit the continue, click on start new because we have created many more uh, campaigns in draft. That's why it is asking me. Now we are into our campaign creation process. First, we have to select our location. So in location, either you can uh, select all countries or territories, or you can go with the specific, any specific country, or you can choose any particular locations, right? You can choose multiple locations. You can choose single location. That is totally up to you, right? You can just uh, search here by entering the city name or location name. Otherwise you can click on this advanced search option where you get two options. Either you can target your audience location wise, or you can choose radius wise, right? Let's say I want to target location wise. So I want to target De whole Delhi city, which is India's capital. So I'm targeting whole Delhi city. Otherwise I can target radius wise as well. I have selected this city as location wise. Now I'm going to select one area as location wise. So for that, I again have to enter the city or any particular area. Let's say I enter Noida, which is this right neighboring city of delhi so i'm gonna add noida right this is the city click target and as you can see noida's 20 miles of radius has been targeted now if you want you can decrease the number or you can increase that is totally up to you now hit the save button right so that's how you can target location wise and radius wise right now we have few more options over here in targeting and exclusion so uh, we have two options over here the first one says that the people who live in that location and people who are showing interest, which means people who are searching for that location will be targeted if you select this option. So this is basically, let's say you have targeted Delhi, right? So people who live in Delhi and people who are searching for Delhi, people who are showing interest for Delhi, both type of people will be targeted if you select this option. Also, this one is recommended as well. But if you select this option, then the people who is living in that location, that particular city or particular area will be target only, right? So that is totally up to you that which option suits you, right? Or suits your biz business and same goes with the exclusion as well. If you uh, add any exclusion, you can select your best preference, right? Now, once your location is done, we are into language. So as you can see, English has already been selected. So my audience speaks Hindi as well. So I'll be selecting both the languages, right? But that is totally up to you that which language your audience speaks. 
you can select that language right now in more settings we have few more settings over here the first one is add rotation add rotation is basically set on the best option but if i show, uh, tell you the difference between basically we have two options over here the first one is optimize prefer best performing ads so if you select this google will automatically optimize your ads and prefer the best performing ads and scale that particular ad which per, uh, performs better right then if you select this option google will do not optimize anything and it will rotate your ads indefinitely and show your ads equally to your target audience right so obviously the uh, optimize option is the best option right now so i have selected now in ad schedule ad schedule is basically let's say you know that your target audience is mostly active on weekdays so you can do one thing you can just add weekdays uh, over here and the timing specific timings as well let's say your target audience is active on weekdays in evening only right so you can select those weekdays and the evening timing so that google can turn off your campaign when your target audience is not active and when your target audience is active which time and date you have selected google will turn on your uh, turn on the campaign automatically right you don't have to manually turn on and turn off your campaign also it helps you to save money and if you manually turn on and turn off your campaign it drastically harms your campaign because the campaign have to restart everything and starts the process from zero that's why right so it is better to schedule your ads if you want to specifically run your ads in different uh, basically in particular days and in particular timings right but for now i'm leaving it all days then we have device targeting but if you want to show your ads in uh, any specific device or in any specific operating system you can select this option set specific targeting for devices and you can choose the option according to your preference right so uh, we have three options over here computer mobile phones and tablets so if you don't want to show your ads on computer just uncheck this box and you are good to go but for now i'll be selecting all these options and here you have three more options you can target uh, operating system wise device model wise and network wise right now close this option i'm leaving this option as it is i'm do not, do not doing anything and then we have campaign url option campaign url is basically if you want to track your campaign's data using any third party tool then you have to use this campaign url option but for now i'm not doing anything with this option also if you want to learn more about campaign url option you can uh, refer to our previous videos in this particular camp uh, uh, google ads course playlist right then dynamic ads so we are not running dynamic ads we are not doing anything on this option right then we have start and end date if you want you can use start and end date option let's say you don't want to run your ads today right uh, today is may 3rd 2023 and you want to run your ads from 5th of 5th of may 2023 right so you can add a start date and you can also if you want you can add end date as well right then conversions uh, you don't have to do anything here then we have content exclusions if you want to exclude your ads from uh, any specific type of content you can do with this option right we have three options over here content label label wise you can filter your exclusions otherwise sensitive content and content type so let's say i don't want to show my ads on sexually suggestive content or on any tragedy or conflict content so you just have to check this box here right box otherwise uh, if you want to ex exclusion in content type you let's say uh, videos which are embedded with uh, youtube videos you don't want to show your ads there just select this box and done now your uh, campaign settings is done now now hit the next button now the budget we would choose is 1600 which is around 20 dollars so our budget is 20 dollar per day and in conversions we are going with viewable impressions right so this is basically on cpm level cost per milestone right so we want impressions as much as possible right and how much money we want to spend for cpm which is for per milestone let's say i want to spend 40 rupees for a milestone which is basically 1000 impressions right so this is basically that i am willing to pay up to 40 rupees for 1000 impression whenever i get 1000 impression Google will automatically deduct up to 40 rupees from my account, right? And as you can see, average CPM is around this from 12 rupee to 23 rupee, right? So I have added more than that.
now once your bidding is done go to next now we are into our targeting and in targeting if i click on this add targeting option we have this option here so as i told you that this uh, campaign for keyword based targeting so i'll be selecting this option only right now here i'll be able to see some keywords which is uh, searched by google itself from my website if you want to manually add your keyword which you, you have researched according to your business you can add that as well but for now i'm just adding these keywords which google have searched for me using my website right so i'll be adding four or five keywords yeah this much keywords are okay now once you are done with your keyword hit the done button and your targeting is done basically right because you, we don't want to add any other targeting option with, uh, as this is just keyword based targeting now head over to our ads creation section right so here our final url has already been added if you want you can change it then uh, if you want you can change your business name as well but for me marketing pandas is our business name and i want to land my audience in this particular url right now in images as you can see we can add up to 15 images so click on just images and you'll be able to see in asset library these are basically recommended ones but in asset library you will be able to see all the asset which you have uploaded in your account right and if you don't know how to add you just have to go to upload and either you can choose google drive or your local computer right then from here i'm gonna select few images as you can see here i'm not gonna select a whole 15 you can add up to 15 it is up to you but for now i'm just selecting around seven right so once you are done hit the save button also just to let you know these are just demo images these are not proper images right these are just demo just to show you then you have to add logo i have already added uh, i haven't added basically google has already added google knows which is my logo right and if your uh, uh, logo field is empty you can just click on the add button and you'll be able to add a logo as well now if you want you can add a video from your asset library if you don't know how to add first you have to upload it on youtube then from there you can get a shareable link and add that shareable link here and you'll be able to add video in your account like these right so i'll be selecting one and add it so this video has also been added into my uh, ads right now we have to add up to five headlines and five descriptions so i'll be just choosing these pre-made headlines and descriptions like this now As you can see here, I have added around five descriptions and five headlines. Now, if you want, you can add, obviously, you should add a long headline as well. So, let me write one best digital marketing course available in Delhi. Right. So, obviously, you have 90 character limit. I have just added only 50 characters. So, you should add at least 80 or more than that right now once your ad creation process is done hit the next button or not go directly to next you can uh, if you want you can create multiple ads as well right but for now i am just creating one only you'll be able to see this my ad here if you want you can create uh, multiple ads and the process will be same as like this right now hit the next button and you'll be into the review section and here you can review all the things basically the data and the information you have added into your campaign now once you are confirmed with all the uh, settings and the informations just hit the publish campaign and your campaign will be published within seconds right once your campaign gets published it will go under review and after getting review done you will see able to see the impressions right also it is showing here that in progress one to two days but uh, it doesn't take one to two days it takes around two to three hours not more than that right so i hope you understood how to create a google display ad campaign using keyword targeting and if you still have any question or query please comment down below i'll answer those questions in the comment section itself also don't forget to like and subscribe the channel i'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye